it's around town with Mandy. And here we are downtown in the courthouse. And as you can see, the old girl's gone. But don't worry, our crew came out on Saturday, July the 20th to witness a little bit of history and record from start to finish the process of taking her down. Our circuit courthouse, the historic courthouse, it is our grand old lady. We're very proud of it. And the elm tree is a very, very big part of it. Uh, my facilities manager, Paul Kirst and I, we've talked for years about how we enjoy taking care of the grounds, taking care of the building, and that tree has been a very special part of it. Um, sadly, we noticed last fall, summer, excuse me, last summer, the tree wasn't looking very well. And uh, we uh, were able to uh, get with arborists and specialists actually across the state. We got with the state arborists, some local specialists who know about trees, and sadly we learned very quickly that the tree became afflicted with Dutch elm disease. And it was not something we expected. We knew it was an elm tree, but we thought they had been resistant to it because it lasted all these gotcha. years. And that was not the case. And so very, very sad, but nonetheless, the commissioners were fully behind doing everything we could to save it. Um, Dutch elm disease, it's a, vascul it's a disease that uh, gets into a tree's vascular, vascular system and prevents the uptake of water and nutrients. And there are some things that can be done. So we did that. We invested in time giving it treatments, which the tree took. So we were, you know, yeah. crossing our fingers. Let's see what happens in the spring. And sadly, the, the tree didn't make it. Um, so we're going through design right now for a complete renovation. With the trees dying, we are now in a position where we are deliberately designing the courthouse renovations around the tree. We're gonna be a part of processing the tree at our sawmill, which has very large capacity. So that gives us the opportunity to make things out of, repurpose things out of things that generally wouldn't be usable because there was never a mill around here that could do this and use the wood in the courthouse for paneling, gavels, plaques. Hardwood floors that provided that everything comes out good from the tree, we plan on putting wainscoting around the uh, courtroom. And then, so tell us, people think, you know, in your mind, you think, oh, just cut a tree down and make a table. It's not that easy. It's not. We have to work with professional companies. Um, you can take a beautiful tree down like this wrong and destroy the entire tree. So we've worked with economy since we've been in business. Um, great to work with, very professional. Having the equipment like they do is pretty much key, especially on the large trees, because they have the opportunity to handle them properly. So handling is a big part of the tree takedown. As long as there's no disease inside the tree and it's not hollow, which I don't think this one is, um, you know, we'll have a lot of lumber come out of this tree. So there's a lot of opportunity there and the probability of it being good is, is very high. So We plan on cutting a cross section of that tree and having it finished down and located somewhere here in Centerville or perhaps the tourism center where we can identify on that big section with little signs and everything, what happened on this day of history in Centerville and Queen Anne's County through the life of the tree. Though it's a sad thing, really the timing couldn't have been better because we're going to be able to preserve the legacy of the tree for decades to come.